Kuki Civil Society Organization CEO to you blame the withdrawal of Central Security Forces for elections for the recent surge in clashes in Manipur. Meanwhile, amidst the 12-hour total shutdown called by the Committee on Tribal Unity in Sadar Hills, Kangkukpi District, hundreds of community members dressed in mournful black gathered to pay tributes at a place which they called as Martyr Cemetery in Sadar Hills, Paitang village on Sunday. Mentioned may be made that a 45-year-old father and five children, Lamang Kipkin, was killed during the clashes that took place early this morning at Bethel village in the fringe of Sadar Hills, the Maikong Kangchup region. The burial ceremony was conducted under the auspices of the Committee on Tribal Unity, Sadar Hills, Kangkukpi district. It was reportedly attended by various prominent cookies or leaders, civil society organizations, members as well as the victims' family members. Following the death of Lamang Kipkin, the committee con enforced a 12-hour shutdown Total shutdown from 12 noon today till until 12 midnight across the entire Kangkukpi district. All business establishment closed their shutters during the total shutdown while the typically bustling National Highway 2 wore a deserted look as vehicular movement came to a standstill except for emergency services such as medical, airport and media which were exempt from the shutdown. On the sideline of the burial ceremony, COTUS Media Cell Coordinator NG Lung Kipin said that the Kukizo have placed their existence to survive from the jaws of death in the hands of our central security forces. But today, one of the brave hard volunteers gave his following the withdrawal of the central security forces. He asked why the central security forces were withdrawn from all French areas when the aggression from the valley was still ongoing. He pointed out that central security forces were initially withdrawn from certain French areas before the Lok Sabha polls, citing election duties and following a bomb blast near Saparimina along NH2. However, more withdrawals took place in most Sadar Hill fringe areas, creating a pathway for valley-based insurgent groups to advance closer into the cookies of fringe regions, he added. We the cookies have faced our existence from the jaws of that that is headed by the majoritarian-led state government. And us Center security forces are only fortress since the 3rd of May. Now, what baffles us today is that why at this critical juncture, when the state government is held bent to annihilate the entire Kukijou community, why the center forces are withdrawn? Perhaps today, we would not be here at this symmetry to bury one of our Kukizo volunteers had the center force been have not been withdrawn now what what the Kukizo wants to know is that how long and how much of our blood needs to be shed before we can prove our allegiance or our patriotism to our great mother India now, please remember, power comes with great responsibility and accountability. Without wits of these two, any form of government is a banana republic. 